and I'm here at Walton's. So I thought I would take you in. Um, I've got my face mask. I just need to grab it out of my bag, which is here. I think at the minute they're allowing four people maximum into the shop. And um, yeah, that's it. So um, yeah, four people at a time into the shop. So, and they're, they're asking if you'd kindly bring a face mask. So it's gonna be an interesting, an interesting experience because this is the first time I've gone physically fabric shopping since the lockdown and since the shops have been opening up again. So it's gonna be interesting. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the girls again. So uh, if I can film inside, I will. I'm not sure if I can, I don't know, obviously, but um, if not, then I will film the fabrics I get afterwards. So uh, let's see how we get on. So that's Walton's from the outside. Obviously they've got all the fabrics up in the window there and we're in a little town called Goldthorpe which is a very very old sort of mining town really I guess in between Doncaster, Rotherham and Barnsley. It's about 40 minutes from my home and uh, yeah it's fabulous. They do some amazing fabrics at really good prices. So uh, let's go in. and hopefully you've just had a little bit of a glimpse of what it's like in the shop in the previous clip but I thought I would show you the fabrics that I bought so um the main purpose of this trip really was to get some more lycra fabrics which I know probably a lot of you aren't interested in but I do like making my own running wear um so I'll show you those first but I did get a couple of other interesting fabrics so it was really nice actually um I was a little bit nervous about going because obviously they've been locked down but um, speaking to Jane, I think initially they were um, a little bit apprehensive themselves, but things have settled down nicely now. They're only letting four people in the shop at a time. They're not being very, very strict about wearing face masks, but obviously I think if there were a fair few people around, they would probably want to enforce that, and I don't blame them. Um, but it was lovely. It was really nice to just go in and have a little browse. I didn't feel pressured at all. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd show you what I got. So I bought three Lycra fabrics. Now I think I mentioned that I wanted to get some more black Lycra, but they didn't have any, unfortunately. So um, I ended up getting the navy version of the previous black Lycra that I had. And hopefully when they get the same fabric back in stock, I'll be able to get some more next time. But I did buy, I mean, this, this Lycra is like four pounds a meter and it's great for, you know, athletic wear sports bras tops leggings that kind of thing so this is the navy version and yeah i think i bought about four meters of this so that i've got plenty because i can use it for accents and um there's a couple of sports bras i want to make the power power sports bra by green style creations is one um, so I've got this one and to go with this I bought a metre of this gorgeousness which is just beautiful. Um, hopefully you can see the colours on there 
but it's just lovely if i um hold it out a little bit more this i think was 10 pounds a meter which is amazing as i say their lycras really are amazing quality a lot of them are very dance wearish which is not the kind of thing i want i much prefer the less sparkly shiny matte lycras which they do do a fair few of so and they've always got new things in so yeah really really love that and i think that goes really well with that and i'm just moving those to one side the other lycra that i got is this one which is a little bit sparkly but i love it anyway it's gorgeous um so i um i mean this is as i say it has got a little bit of shimmering i don't know if you can see that I don't know if it's coming up on screen very well but the plan is to accent accent this with black lycra which i do have some left and i'm going to make the i don't know if this is pronounced correctly but it's called the waymia rash guard and matching bikini bottoms by green style creations it's one of their new patterns and they did have 30 percent off so i bought both last weekend and I'm going to have a go at making these. I will put a picture in so you can have a look. But um, yeah, I'm going to make one of those out of this with black lycra. I think it'll look amazing um, for our holiday when we go down to Cornwall next month. Because I think we are going to go. Right, so line a lot of sort of swimwear and athletic wear. If you want to get that sort of compression fit, then you need to use PowerNet and waltons sell power net at a really reasonable price this again is seven pound fifty a meter which sounds expensive when you consider what you get um, but they do it in all different colors and i bought this color which is like a it's like a sort of bluey gray color because i thought it would work well with the black lycra and also with the blue lycra but this is obviously has got quite a sort of compressive stretch to it and it's dark designed you can use it as an interlining or you can use it as a lining some power nets are quite scratchy but this isn't it's really soft and um this will be great for lining um the rash guard that i want to make and the bikini bottoms um just to give that extra strength that you need um so i got a meter of that and then i also bought some um fabric for bronte because she wants me to make her the closet case patterns carolyn pajamas the shorty version that i made myself a couple of months back and she sent me with a a description of the fabric that she wanted she said if they've got anything with clouds on so they did have something with clouds on this is what they had which is just beautiful um it's just a cotton and it is only 45 inch wide and the design is called adventures in the sky by bianca posse i think for three wishes fabric i don't know if you can just see that on the selvage there so you know waltons do do a lot of cottons and quilting cottons as well and i think originally this is a quilting cotton but it, it will work i've got that upside down yeah I have. it will work perfectly for pajamas so um so yeah so she loves it anyway i wasn't sure if she'd find it a bit childish with the bunnies on but she does love it so um this is going to make the closet case patterns shorty pjs and because this is only 45 wide i actually need about three and a half meters which sounds a lot for the shorty pajamas but that's the problem when you've got sort of this width fabric and obviously it's a directional print as well so um but yeah she loves that so that's that one and i also bought i've already cut this out and made it up actually because i wanted to get it done straight away but i was looking for some fabric for the button-up dress by in the folds for peppermint magazine and i saw this really lovely linen they've got a few of these linens in at the minute and this was my favorite which is just blue and white and um this is the bit that i've got left so i got three meters of this i think and it's really lovely this was four pounds a meter so um yeah you'll hopefully see that dress made up in probably next week's vlog i would think um if you haven't already seen it that is but um but yeah this was four pounds a meter and i think i got three meters of that and the final 
patterned fabric that I got is another cotton, but this is a dressmaking cotton. So this is 60 wide and it was, again, it was four pounds a meter. And initially I wasn't drawn to it, but um, it's got a bit of a ditzy print to it. I'm not normally drawn to ditzy prints, but if you look at the colors, the beautiful oranges and reds and greens on there. And um, my plan is to make a Mimi G Jessica dress out of this for summer because I just think it's gorgeous. So I need to get this in the wash today and get it hung out because I'd like to get that made up pretty soon. Um, I got three meters of this, um, yeah, four pounds a meter, so it was a bargain. And two more fabrics to show you. This one, um, they've got some amazing denims in at the minute. They've got some nice stretching, they're really good quality and lovely, sort of blues colors different blues colors so i bought two different colors this is the darker of the two which um is, has already been washed and um ironed and it's just gorgeous hopefully i don't know if i can just show you the stretch on that um but yeah it's got some it's got a bit of stretch there i would probably say from feeling it it's probably got about 15% stretch something like that um, but it's really lovely lovely blue lovely mid blue and this I've got three meters of this these were seven pounds a meter and I am planning to make the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans out of these I wanted to make jeans for a long time and you know many of you know I've always had these issues about wanting to be a certain size before I make jeans because I know how I want them to look on me if that makes sense but I think I'm going to bite the bullet and have a go um so you know this wasn't too expensive for denim and but it is just beautiful quality so yeah so I've bought three meters of these of this with that in mind I've got B in here um and then the last denim is a lighter it's the same type of denim but it's a lighter blue and I have bought this with the Sorrento jacket by Sew so Over It in mind. So this is it here. Um, this is gorgeous. I really, really like this. Again, it's got that little bit of stretch in it, um, which is great for comfort. Um, but it's a gorgeous colour, gorgeous light blue. And yeah, the Sorrento jacket is a cropped denim jacket that is in their new Summer Dreamings ebook. And I really want to make that so I bought this one as well again this is seven pounds a meter so they are my two denims for contrast you can see the different colors there and that's my little haul from Walton's so I hope you've enjoyed that little snippet of what Walton's is like um, as I say they don't unfortunately have a website and they don't do mail order mail order either but if you are ever in the area it's always worth going there's a nice little golf club nearby that do nice lunches so uh, I hope you've enjoyed having a look and uh, I will be back with you really soon take care bye